Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing something brand new on the channel and that'll be doing a tier list. I've mentioned this a couple of times when reviewing past Home Alone films and today I'm going to be ranking the six Home Alone films and I will be doing it from sixth to first and there are no order on the screen. That's just a random order I picked. So and I'll just give a brief reason of why I've chosen them in that order and why number one is number one, number six is number six specifically and why such a big margin. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. If you want any more tier lists, um, please leave them below. Spider-Man tier list is the next on my list once the new film is out. So stay tuned for that. Enjoy. So Home Alone, one of the best Christmas film franchises out there. Obviously, in many people's eyes, it dropped off after the second one lost in New York. But in my opinion, they're all good in their own ways. And we're going to find out why one is better than the other. So, in sixth place, I have gone with Home Alone, The Holiday Heist, the one I reviewed today. Simply because there's no family element. Um, it doesn't really get going to the last half hour with the traps and the burglars and the kid and all that jazz and the gamer guy, Simon and Mason don't come in till like the end uh, predominantly. So they're the best parts of it. And that's why it's at the bottom because nothing happens for the first hour, really nothing exciting or for the plot to intrigue me. So that's why it's number six. Jumping into number five. Um, this was tough between five and four because they're both very good. But I think Home Alone 4, number five, my list, lacks uh, again a lot there was no traps really um the whole different cast wasn't really great the kid was annoying for the first 20 minutes or so then he grew on me as we went on um again there's not a lot of development between marv and his mom and the relationship between mira and marv it's just, the film was very good but it's just not a very strong one so this is where we move into number four on the list Home Sweet Home Alone, the brand new Disney Plus exclusive <clears throat> original film. And obviously the sixth in the series. Um, this film was very good, I feel, but not good enough to make the top three. Then the kid in it, obviously he was in Jojo Rabbit, is an excellent actor. The family element was there for me, but not massively, hence why I've not given it <clears throat> higher on the list. Um I love the fact that they gave the bird was more of a story and more of a reason to why they were breaking in. I love the connections to the original Home Alones with Buzz and the security system and Kevin mentioned. So that's why it gets third on my list. If you want, obviously, a more in-depth reason of why I like this film, go and check the review on the channel. It's a very enjoyable film. It's on Disney+. Plus. You've got an hour spare. And then number three, this is where the... Um, you know, people might start to be question my opinions, but <clears throat> third place on this list is Home Alone 1. And simply because it's overhyped, I've watched it a million times, and you start to realise, yeah, Macaulay Culkin isn't that incredible in the first one comparison to the second one. Um, the story is kind... The story is amazing, don't go wrong. It's a simple story. The burglars is a great family connection. I love the humor between Buzz and the uncle and all the other kids. I like his relationship with the snow shovel guy and when they go to church. Again, if you want to hear more, um, but yeah, that's why I think it's third. Just didn't have enough going for it, going for it compared to the second one. And speaking of which, second on my list, again, I'll probably get. If anyone watches this, you know, uh, Home Alone 2 is next on my list. Home Alone 2, I always thought this was my favourite. It's definitely a lot better than the first one. I like his relationship again with the woman in the park. Uh, expands itself. You know, you go to New York, you've got Tim Curry. Um, the cast just grows better. You could tell there was more money. The idea was better. The whole relationship with the mum uh yeah it's just a brilliant film and obviously i'm going to give number one to my favorite and this was actually after watching it this year i missed i didn't watch it last year or the, maybe i didn't even watch it before i don't think home alone 3 is the best home alone and i'm going to tell you a few reasons why the traps were incredible the relationship with mom was great he wasn't always just home alone but it, 
the mum was constantly you know, coming back and forth. She was caring. She was always there. The siblings were, I didn't hate. I enjoyed them enough to the fact of, at the end, they made up with Alex and had a good understanding of him. Mrs. Hesh's development of a character after almost being killed. Her relationship with Alex improved. Liked his dad. I liked the whole concept about it getting a chip out of a toy car. It made it relevant to kids in the toy car, but it also made it relevant for adults who know and hear about it in the news about, you know, bombs and all this sort of stuff. So it, it was a very good balance. Obviously, the whole Christmas element is brilliant. The kid who plays Alex is brilliant. He's the best young lad we've had in Home Alone. And it's a shame we never got like a sequel or, you know, another film of him, you know, because obviously we've got two with Kevin. So it was, there was always an opportunity. We've had three, actually, three with Kevin, just a different actor. But yeah, I think number three is a lot better than number two. Number two is still very good in my heart. I always watch that and the first one. But the third one is a fantastic film. I highly recommend you go and check it out. And if you didn't agree, let me know down below why. And I'll be sure to uh, check it out. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my first tier list. There'll be plenty more coming, as I said. A lot of franchises out there, a lot of film series. I just wanted to start with Home Alone as we're on the Christmas uh, countdown. Obviously, 12 Days for Christmas. And obviously, I want to talk about one of the best franchises in Christmas history. And I do want to say this, even though Home Alone's Home Alone 4 so far down the ranks, it's a lot better than people think. Holiday Heist is a good film. And uh, Home Sweet Home Alone is a very good film, just not as good as, obviously, the original trilogy. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Um, and if you want to check out the full reviews, all six reviews are out on the channel as of tonight. I obviously did the Holiday Heist, the same, obviously, tonight. And obviously, it would go up before this. So check them all out. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. Like. Comment anything else you want to see. Take care. Until next time, we have a busy week of content. So look out for all that. Goodbye.